Hi everybody, my name is Sherry. Welcome to my stamp studio and happy February 1st. Oh my goodness, there is so much stuff going on today. Um, I intentionally didn't fin um, film this card or the next one. I have two cards ready with the uh, um, beautiful thistle bundle to record, but I didn't because I knew that there would be lots of information and I knew if I recorded them then I would feel like I needed to do like a little addendum at the beginning of them to tell you all that's happening in February. So I'm going to record them real fast and then throw all this stuff together in an email for those of you on my email list. So let's just get going. The card doesn't take that long, um, thankfully, and I can kind of edit some of the pieces out to make it go a little quicker. First off, we didn't know until we kind of got a feel for it yesterday, but we didn't know for sure what would be on the American part are um, Stampin' Sisters in the Southern Hemisphere. Sometimes I wished I liked to be first, and sometimes I wished I still lived in Australia so I could always be first. They get a little bit of a heads up, but sometimes the things can be tweaked. For one, the prices are different, um, and sometimes stock issues are different. So we knew um, on their February 1st, was, which is several hours ahead of ours, that there was a second celebration coming. And at that point, if you're in club, I had already sent you the choices for your club options. And so now a bunch of you have already purchased your thing. So if you're in club, don't worry. Um, as I tell you this next part, I'm going, going to send those of you who have already chosen a celebration item an email in case you want to switch. But there are some new, I even got my notes on here. There are some new celebration items. I don't have a color printer. My husband refuses to pay for the ink. He's in IT and he thinks it's a ripoff. <laughs> so I have black and white. But uh, this will be on my website so you can go get a color version. There's new celebration choices starting today. Again, while supplies last. So in addition, you can still get all of the others. They haven't run out. So if those, is, if those are still on your list, you're still good. There's two of our kits. You can get the kindness card kit. All of this stuff is just regular merchandise. You can get the Let's Party treat packaging, which I think that I have that. Some of this stuff that I have, like I said, I have the two thistle cards. I have so much stuff to show you. And then they throw all this stuff. They have the white frayed ribbon, which I use all the time. Um, and it's two spools free with 50. I love that ribbon and I can go through two spools of it super quick and you know that I love it. You've seen it and I will try to pull some of this in a video and just show it to you. Um, the tag punch, the songbird punch, I love that and um, maybe I'll just do a video that just shows you this stuff. Um, I don't have, uh, maybe I have it. Sometimes I don't even know what I have. The clouds embossing folder. I have the hive embossing folder. And then I just used these on a video maybe last week or the week before. The new um, masks that layer. And I did the orange and purple card. It's beautiful. Then if you did my try it class, the Enjoy the Journey designer series paper. Fabulous paper. I will definitely use that because that whole bundle, fabulous. And it's in my stack over here of stuff to use. And then this is a whole bundle, Stamps and Dies, the Eden's Garden Bundle. I haven't used it for a while because it came out maybe last, um, not this past November, but the November before. So it's been over there. And I have cards that I made with it. Um, it may have been, oh, maybe it was two years ago because it may have been out before I even did a card club. Um, but that's free with 100. So all this new. So this is what Stampin' Up's going to give you free with 50 or free with 100. You want to know my February thank you gifts? You can probably see them in my little um, um, pencil down here. My free with 50 are the opaque adhesive back gems. And those, I chose them because they're on today's cards. So you'll see those in just a second. And then my free with 200, I decided if they were going to go with kits, I'd go with a kit because this is a fabulous, it's a new one. So it's not likely to sell out. Now the caveat with kits is there they can always run out um because they're only available on our website and so we never know when they're in low inventory i'm going to order a bunch of them today but it, i like to do kits for my thank you gifts for you guys because then i don't have to package them if you because if you get this you're also going to get this and i can just put those in there along with your vip video projects um i will show you i'll open this up and take it out and show you in a video in a couple of days but look how this is just a bright and cheery gift um i mean kit and if you don't, it doesn't take any stamping. It's just one of those ones you put together. And the cards are so cute. 
But if you don't want to make it, you can just hand it to one of your friends who you are trying to convince that they can craft along with you and they will be super successful at it. And maybe you can um, get them hooked along with it. But it's a super cute little kit. It's called the Saying Thanks Kit. You can see it on our website. That's free with 200. But at my $200 level, and my, my thank you gifts accumulate, I send them out. Like today, I will order all of the gifts for those of you that purchased in January. And then I'll do my VIP videos, which I don't remember what they are in January. At February, they're the 50 and the 250. Everybody who purchases sees the videos, and then at those two levels, you get the supplies. Um, so, Card Club, you are getting to pick Celebration. Um, this is the, the video that everybody gets to see. This posted this week. Card Club's super fun. You can go watch this video, get all the details about Card Club. Um, we are using Sentimental Park. That's what I'm using. You can make it work with other sets. I do have Petal Park sitting here, and I'll do a video with that. So that is that. Then the thing that I'm super, super excited about is mark your calendar. If you are a demonstrator and you live in the Midwest, um, March 25th and 26th. The 25th is an optional shoebox swap. The 26th, we are having a Stampin' Up! demonstrator get together. It is going to be a ton of fun. So much fun. We're hoping for a giant, humongous live event because Stampin' Up! is only having a, a in-person leadership event this year. And so we are going to have 35 ways to celebrate Stampin' Up! It's our 35th um, anniversary. So again, it's the 25th and 26th. Registration, I think, will open tomorrow. Um, I'm going to try to get, there's four of us doing it, and then we're going to have a super special guest. Um, so I'm hoping to get the all the registration information up tomorrow. In my email today, I may have a landing page where you can go get a little bit of information. Um, one of the girls on our team has a wedding they own a wedding facility it is gorgeous and so it can hold two to three hundred people um she knows all the caterers and all the dessert makers so it is going to be a fabulous fun so if you're a demonstrator um and you live anywhere within indianap the indianapolis area she's got uh, hotels that work with her wedding business so we'll get a good deal on hotels we're going to stay in a hotel because when you go to a stampin up event it's just fun to make an event um even though we live close enough we could go home we're not going to because you know it's fun to be with your girlfriends it will be an optional shoebox event on the saturday night so if you're driving in you can come in on saturday it'll start about five we'll have dinner together we'll do a shoebox swap on saturday and then all day on sunday we will um find our 35 ways to celebrate with Stampin' Up. So be watching for that. Now let's get going on today's card. I told you there was a lot. Isn't that a lot? <laughs> be on my email list and then it'll be written and it's easier to kind of take in. So today we're going to use the beautiful thistle. You know I've had this for a while. Um, thistles, I lived in Scotland when I was younger. We went back a couple of years ago. That was the first time I took my family. I lived there for two years when I was in my very early 20s, very, very early 20s. I wanted to turn 21 when I lived there, and I moved back just before. Because in the um, English countries, it's a big deal to turn 21, a little bit bigger than it is in the U.S. We kind of make a big deal of like 16. Um, there it was a bigger deal to be 21, and I moved just before I turned 21. Um but I wanted my thistle to look kind of like a Scottish thistle. So they're a little pinker, at least the ones where we lived were. And so then when we went back a couple of years ago, it, well, it was more than a couple. I, it was still very camera heavy. Like, I think I've had two iPhone upgrades since then. So I went to try to find a picture on my phone because I still have. And then the year after that, we went to Ireland. And that year, I took almost all my pictures on my iPhone. I don't have any of the thistle pictures on my phone and I'm not sure where um, the little picture cards are from my camera. So I just Googled it. So if you, anytime you're gonna color the any of our florals and you know what the flower is, then just Google it. So I Googled Scotch Thistle. And so that was where I kind of got my colors that I chose for this. So you can do the same thing, um, just Google it that way. And then I just Googled thistle and a whole color like the purple ones and more of the white ones, they all pulled up. But it's an easy way then just to kind of decide which colors you want to use. So you can see it's a bundle. Um, with this one, if you don't have a die cut machine, it's very easy to just stamp and color. So I have this card and on this one, I'm going to use the stamps and the dice that cut those out. And then on the second card, I'm going to use the thistle builder. So you'll get to see it both ways. 
Then I'm going to use, I really tried to make it work with some of this stuff from the, the paper from the card club this month. And I really couldn't make it work. And then I stopped because I wanted to use the colors that were the Scotch Thistle and it wasn't working. This paper though, because I wanted those of you in card club to see other things in the um, Regency Park suite. This is part of the suite. You're not getting it in card club, but it does coordinate with your club. So I wanted you to see it. So we're going to use this and then we're going to use it again on the second card. So you're going to get to see it. So let's do our stamping. I'm going to use this just as kind of a highlight because it's a specialty paper. Of course, I'm going to stamp on my shimmer white and then our card is going to just be on white cardstock. And then this is just a bunch of scrap paper that I need. So we're going to stamp in black. There's two sizes of thistles. So I just decided to use them both. I'm going to stamp in memento. And anytime you're gonna just die cut, um, shimmer white cardstock is by far my favorite cardstock. And especially when you're watercoloring and you want it to be beautiful, it is the best cardstock I think to use. But it is not as inexpensive as just basic white. So I like to use it and you can put them close together um, like this. So you can see it's not square. It doesn't have to be square because we're gonna cut them out and just put them close together and then kind of cut them out and then die cut them. That way you get the best bang for your buck for your cardstock. And it doesn't have to be perfect. And then I just keep using these pieces of paper until it eventually has used itself up. So I'm gonna do one of the big ones and two of the little ones, just like that. And then the, it has some really good sayings in here. It has, um, there is something beautiful in every day. Thanks for being a wonderful example to me. Best wishes and thinking of you. And then I am going to use Your Strength Inspires Me. So I'm just going to fold my white cardstock in half. And I'll go ahead and do that so my stamping is done. Yeah, and we'll just set that aside and we'll come back to that later. But now my stamping is all finished. There's not a whole lot of stamping on this, but it's a beautiful, beautiful, kind of simple, elegant card. And then I'm going to take these. I'm going to use my little oh, this silly dimensional backs end up everywhere. I'm going to use my little cut emboss machine because these do fit. I thought about using the um, cane embossing folder because it's part of the sentimental park. But when I made the card, I was lazy. Um, and I didn't want to go get my... Here's what's happened. We have this new Boho Blue embossing machine that you can get free right now if you join my team. And if you join my team, no matter where you are in the U.S., you can come to our demonstrator get-together. How much fun would that be? But this works so wonderfully well. And it just sits here on my table. So I have found I have made some choices based on the fact that the things will fit in this. So some of the embossing folders have gotten not used because they don't fit in this. And it was partly because I had try it class and then I had camp. And so my large machine was downstairs. Just stick this on here. I'm going to do one and then I'll fast forward the rest. This just goes right on the top, just like the big one. But I find with this one, it's a little bit easier to grab it. And then this kind of, you can wiggle it to straighten it up. This one's getting more and more. I've only used this. I haven't had anybody but me use this. And I just got it when we could pre-order it towards the end of December, maybe. So all these cuts have been made by me. And we didn't. I didn't use it like to cut stuff for class. So cut that one and then do these two. So I got the deckled rectangles. These are just in the annual catalog. And that is going to give it a fun edge. Just put it on here and then line that up and run this through. Look how nice that is. So it will give a nice um, spot to lay our thistles on top of. And I will, if you go to my website, I'll have the link down underneath the video. You can see the original picture that I chose to kind of um, inspire my color selections. So I went with a tad bit of purple in the middle, and it's a fresh freesia, polished pink, and melon mambo. 
you need to take your pads and I'll just do them all now and kind of squish them down. So I'm going to start with my lightest with which will be fresh freesia. I can't talk. It's like 10 degrees outside. It's sunny, but it is cold. And that 10, if you're watching from um, Australia or New Zealand or England or Scotland, I'm talking Celsius. I mean, not Celsius. I'm talking Fahrenheit. So probably 10 would be um, 32 would be zero and it's way colder than 32. So we're below the, um, we're way down there. So I'm going to start with fresh freesia. And so this part, if you're unfamiliar with thistles, this is green. So this part up here is the flower part. So don't be coloring this a color. I mean, it's art. So if you want to, you can color it blue or gray or brown you can do whatever you want but that is um I should have started with green since I ended with green so I'm just going to get some highlights of the freesia here in the middle and I'm coloring with Estella so not only is my paper shimmery the ink will be shimmery and I'm just going to hit some freesia in the middle kind of give that center the the lightest part and then we'll go to polished pink and I'm going to leave them open in case I want to go back and ha add anything and then we'll go out from there Highlights of the bright, and with these, I'm just going to kind of try to give it the stripes. I'm going to start with my old olive on this and then go to my lighter, which will be the parakeet, which is a really bright color, but super fun. Part of the reason I'm doing old olive first is because I can mix it with the mambo and I can do my stem. If you haven't colored with Estella before, you're missing out because it's so much fun. Now with the olive, I'm going to try to get these pieces here that have the, the black highlights on them. Let's do the parakeet. Now this is a brighter color that I would have chosen, except for the picture that I found. And when I saw it, the picture, I was like, well, that's parakeet. And it just makes such a bright and happy picture. Okay, so those are all colored in. Super fun. I find it the most relaxing thing that you can really do. Move these out of the way. 
And then I wanted to um, splatter the paper, which is normally something I would do with blends. You can kind of tell I got it on my table. It will clean up. Um, and plus it's kind of time for a new a fresh repaint from my husband. So let's splatter this. You can use your Stella, but it kind of it is a little bit wasteful, I think. So I'm not gonna use my Stella. I'm just gonna use my water painter. You can use a paint brush. And then I'll just take a couple of my stamp pads. And if you have your water painter, just kind of drip some water in it. It kind of helps clean out any of the Stella that's in here as well. And just get some in here. Get a lot of water on it. And this will clean off. You could see, I should have showed you at the beginning that I dripped it off. And here where I kind of smudged that on there, I can cover that up. So we'll get some pink on it. This is where I overspray my table. If you um, have a bigger piece of white paper, it'll stop that from happening. So we'll get some of the pink. And then, um, you know, our stamp pads, you can see that's pretty wet, but our stamp pads go this way, so that will dry. Or you can take a wet wipe or a paper towel or something and clean that up. Let's get the purple. So this is fresh freeze it. And you can see as I drip that out that the pink's kind of coming out. Get this out of here. And it will be have a little bit of sparkle to it because that um, Stella fluid is in there. Get some of that on there. It is a, if you do this with your blends, this is a little bit of a different look. It dries lighter because obviously there's water. Let's get, how much is in here? Oh yeah, there's a good amount in here. Oh, and look, another dimensional back. <laughs> like I said, they're always everywhere. Because you can see in the past where that has gotten on the pad, I don't mind, because there can be a little bit of sp sparkle, especially on a pink pad, wherever, and it doesn't bother me. So let's get this. And you can see that it gets lighter and lighter. I'm gonna leave that one open. How much green do I have in here? Uh, yeah. Kind of get, see how sparkly that is? I'm gonna take, actually I'll do it now. So I'm gonna grab this, look at all that sparkle in there. And I'm just gonna go over the word strength. And that sparkle will kind of pick that up. Get that off of there now. See, it's so pretty. I could just, you could have a piece of scrap paper here. Mm, do I have? I'll do it on the back side of this so you can kind of see what I mean. If you have a piece of scrap, you can just make it sparkly with what's coming off. Let's get our green. I don't have a tissue laying here. Oh, yeah, I do. I thought I got them. I just didn't see them. I took my glasses off to paint and I didn't put them back on. I'll show you how this just cleans itself off. So see the more water that comes out, and this is literally just water in here, so it's not like you're wasting anything. You can also have a cup of water on your desk. If I do that, then my cats will come join me as they are, you know, are desperately dehydrated. And then we'll get some green. And then we'll flick this. Now see the tip has turned green, and this is all getting lighter. And then kind of right here where I got that black, you can do black and I could put some black on it to kind of um, cover that up. I'm just going to kind of wisp some of that. And now that I'm done, I'm just going to take this. You do have to get some water through it. And I've used so much pink, it's kind of soaked some pink water up. So now that I'm done, I'll just take it to the sink and I will just empty that out and I'll just run that off in the sink and it'll be all like it's back to new. I love our water painters. Great thing to buy right now if you're looking for ways to get some of that free celebration stuff. And look at my beautiful pink sparkly water. All right, so we have our black that I have made sparkly. See how that is just beautiful? And that's just all the um, trash that was left in my um, ink pad. Let's put, cover it up. Even, I could have done the whole thing. It's wet, so it's grabbing that. 
All right, where'd I put my white? So let's put our white here. It's sparkly too. This card just has a beautiful sparkle. Let's start with our big one. I want it to go off the white so you kind of see it. And then let's do, you can use glue on these if you want. I'm gonna do a little bouquet of thistles. I don't know if I said we're going back to Scotland. So the Stampin' Up! incentive trip goes to Norway, but we um, the cruise itself leaves from Southampton, England. So we are flying into Edinburgh <laughs> a week early, and then we will leave from, um, we're going to drive from Edinburgh up to Isle of Skye, and then from Isle of Skye make our way down, um, go back to Edinburgh and do a couple of days there, a day, and do Stirling, Edinburgh. And then since we just did Scotland, um, although sometimes I feel like I could live there again, 100% know I could live there again. We're gonna do that. And then last time we, we only did the borders and we stopped at Heydrich's Wall. And then we flew to Iceland last time. This time we are going to go on down to York, the Cotswolds, um, down to Downton Abbey, which I know is not Downton Abbey, but Highclere Castle, and then London, and then do some time in London, and then go to um, Southampton from there. And I know all of you that live in London are like, what? Are living in England. Americans like to travel. We will stay in a different place almost every night. In London, we will do laundry. So we're, just, we're not staying in the city. We're staying a little bit outside. And my husband, you know, he's Aussie. We can drive on the other side of the road. We're good. Um, we've had some people concerned about our driving abilities on the on the wrong side. He drives on the wrong side of the road every single day that he drives here, which now he's done about half of his life on both sides of the road. So he can do both sides. Let's do our embellishments, which these are the ones that you get free from me this month if you spend 50. You have, do have to make sure that you use the host code. So you can see they come in all colors that would be great for thistles. I'm going to use these because these are the colors that we did not use in um, Try It class. So I have tons of them. Because we, whatever card we used, I don't even remember now. We must have used only purple. Uh, proper tool. So they come in three sizes. I'm going to start down here with a tiny one. Tiny one. Medium one. And then the large one. So super sparkly, so pretty. Just a really pretty card. This one I spent a tiny bit more time coloring. So the highlights I think are a little bit better on the, the thistle itself. This one's a little bit more sparklier because the more layers of color that you get, it kind of color covers up the sparkle. Really, really pretty. So remember, if you're a demonstrator, watch for our In Year in the Midwest, watch for the 35 Ways to Celebrate Stampin' Up! registration that's coming up. Um, if you are in Card Club and you want to switch your order, or if you um, want to see the all of the new stuff that you can pick free, uh, some great things, two spools of ribbon, free with a $50 order, or all those kits. Um, so many ways to be happy that it's February 1st and then come back tomorrow for another Thistle card and then come back later this week for um, the Petal Park and come back maybe later this week to see all of the new celebration stuff. So much stuff to show you. Everybody have a great one. I hope it's sunshiny today where you are too. Bye.